cheap Valentine's Day chocolate? Let's taste this. So I love chocolate. I eat chocolate every day. So when I was asked to test chocolate out, I was really excited. But being that this is a cheap show, they only bought chocolate ranging from $1.50 all the way to the staggering $6.50. So we're gonna test them out and see which chocolate is the best. So the first one we're going to try out is the cheapest, it's $1.50, and it comes in this little heart-shaped box that says, Happy Valentine's Day, but first, let me take a selfie. So it's cute, it's made by Alma Chocolate since 1855, so it could be a good, good quality. Hmm, okay, easy packaging. Okay, so you have five pieces, two look like dark chocolate, milk chocolate, there's some discoloring on some of them, but it's $1.50, so you can't expect the <laughs> highest quality chocolate. But the, the dark chocolate are a bit shiny in some areas. I don't know why. It looks like somebody maybe spat on it. it smells like cheap chocolate. <laughs> Since I love dark chocolate, I'm going to go with this one. It's orange. <laughs> it's orange flavored goo in the middle. <laughs> I don't like this one. I think I'll try this little square one. Bit this is like a caramel. Can't go wrong. Tastes like Pepsi, cherry Pepsi. I don't like it, and it's gooey and mushy. If you're on a really tight budget, maybe, but I don't recommend this one. Next up, Gerardelli, or Gerardelli, but it doesn't matter, chocolate is chocolate. This one is $4.99. I don't know how many pieces are in here, but it looks like a decent amount. We have three flavors. We have caramel, mint, and 60% cocoa dark chocolate. Heart shape, and it has a bow. So it's pretty. Oh, and you can write who it's to and who it's from. Nice little added bonus. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. How oh, to open this? It's a tricky box. Okay, I think you just rip it open. Separate this part. And inside we have, okay, this is strange. We have three caramel. We have three of the dark chocolate. And then we only have two of the dark chocolate with white mint filling. So I wonder if this is not a favorite and they only put two in, or they're really cheap. I think I'm gonna have to go with the mint chocolate and see why there's only two and not three of these. <laughs> not bad. Tastes a little bit like toothpaste, a little gooey, but it's good. Nice mint taste. Then you can kiss the person who got this for you. That's a bonus. I'll try the caramel since I was disappointed in my previous selection. Can't go wrong with caramel. Mmm. That one's good. This is a good one. For $4.99, they have eight pieces of chocolate. And it's fresh. It's a well-known brand. I'm a fan. This is a good one. Third one we have, Russell Stover. We all know Russell Stover. Big box. It's the same price as a Gerardelli. There's more of a variety. It looks like this box could be used potentially for something else. You could keep the box. This is intense wrapping. There's 13 pieces. This is nice, a little history. It's sealed and it looks nice. It has a bit of a gold metallic gray, I guess you can say, that comes right out. It smells good. There's a, a mix of dark chocolate, milk chocolate. I'm gonna have to go with this round one since it's in the middle. Some sort of marshmallow. Not bad, but you didn't expect that. So kind of like it, keeps you guessing. And then uh, let's go for dark chocolate mmm I don't know what this is I think it's um nugget nougat I don't know how to pronounce it similar to caramel which is my favorite there's no key that's actually disappointing left guessing I'm gonna guess this is caramel typical square shaped they have to throw in a caramel on this one mmm <laughs> it's caramel overall pretty good I mean for five dollars you're getting 13 pieces you have a variety this could keep you going for at least two days, which is pretty good. I like it. I'm going to finish this one because I like it so much. Next up, we have <laughs> another chocolate. Um, and I'll explain who makes this in a minute. But what I do like about it is what it comes in. It's sort of this tin. So it's reusable. It lasts a long time. It's always with you kind of goes with the name of what this chocolate is. This is Jesus chocolate. 
Jesus chocolate made by Jesus, sweetest name I know. I don't know if a church made this. I, I don't know. I will be honest. I'm a little nervous opening this because I don't know what to expect. But I must say the packaging is really nice. It's pretty. The outside's so nice. Then the inside must taste nice too, right? Good thing about this one while I'm opening this is it's only $5.99. So maybe it's a bit pricier, but you're getting, you get to, oh, that just slides off. You get to keep the package, which is a not, you know, something nice. The, the previous ones, you, most likely you're gonna throw them away. This I can actually keep. Oh, it has a, a tag on it, so you can write who it's to and who it's from. So the outside says, God so loved the world that he gave me you. And that's in reference to a Bible verse. I think it's John 3, 16. But they switched it up. Okay. I was not expecting <laughs> two things. This is like the knockoff version of Jared Deli. The first one that falls out is obviously ripped. We have four dark chocolate and we have five milk chocolate. I don't know why the odd number. I don't know why they couldn't throw in an extra one. Each packaging has a different verse on it. That's why it's Jesus chocolate. I'm thinking because it's Jesus chocolate that when I eat one of these, which I'm about to, that I'll be able to perform some miracle. This one's also ripped. I don't know, is that like a, a is God testing us with the ripped chocolate? So the chocolate isn't made that well, doesn't look very pretty, but it does have a cross and Jesus written on the, in the front that says sweetest name I know. Sounds like fake chocolate. Don't like this at all. Tastes like licorice has been dipped in really cheap, cheap chocolate. It's disappointing. I think I would probably throw all of this away um, and then keep this and then put my other chocolate in this instead. Jesus let me down on this one. Not a fan. And finally, the most expensive chocolate that we have. The chocolate that you buy when you do not have a budget. For $6.50, this could be yours. It's Ferrero collection, which we all know about. There is an assortment, which I didn't even know they had more than one flavor. A darker chocolate, a milk chocolate, which everyone's familiar with, and a white Californian almond and coconut chocolate, which sounds delicious. Box is nice, simple. Okay, it's sealed, which I like. It looks pretty. It's clean, organized, it's safe and sanitary, which are bonuses. Looks like we have three of the white coconut, three of the dark, and four of the milk. Traditional. Oh, and you can even smell it through the packaging. See, that's pretty. I like it. Seeing that I've never had or seen this one, I'm going to try it. Okay, a little messy, but we don't mind that. Mmm. This one's good. It's really creamy in the middle. It has a bit of a crunch. It has a bit of a cream. It's a good combination of both. This is a good choice. And I'm going to eat the whole thing. I like it. For $6.50, this will not let you down. So of all of these chocolates and choices that I've tried today, I must say that the best is the Ferrero. Yes, it's the most expensive, but I have to rate this as being the best, best Valentine's day chocolate. You have variety, it looks pretty, the quality's nice, the crunch, the cream, the smell, it's the whole package. Thanks for watching, let's taste this.